Hello, my name is Chef Penny Davidi, and I am honored to be here with you guys today. Thank you for the opportunity, Fahang Foundation, to be a part of the Fahang Flavor web series and to share some of my knowledge and experience and my culture and tradition with you all at home. I know these are trying times and we've all been tested to the nth degree, but when life gives you lemons, and in this case we've been handed quite a few lemons, try and make lemonade. Or in my case, stuffed vegetarian cabbage. That's right, that is what I'm going to share with you today. But first I'd like to give you a little bit of background as to who I am and how I got here. I didn't start out going to culinary school to become a chef. I actually went to Oriental Medical School and became an acupuncturist. You see, my father is a doctor, and in good Persian tradition, we'd like to continue in that path, right? We're always encouraged to go out and be doctors and lawyers and accountants, and that wasn't for me. But I did practice Oriental Medicine and acupuncture for 12 years and loved the the art of, of healing. But now, I just heal through food. So several years ago, dating back, let's say, in 2010, 10 years ago, I decided that I wanted to take this passion onto television and take it one step further than opening restaurants. Because I did open a few pizza restaurants called Pizza Rustica, um, in Beverly Hills and around Los Angeles back in 2004 and in 2010 I thought I'd give a shot to being on the Food Network. It had never been done before by an Iranian female chef or in, the, in my case a home cook really because I didn't go to culinary school so this came from passing on traditions from my grandmother, my mother, my cousins, these are all their recipes that have landed me a spot here today. I've taken a little bit of what I've learned from them and put in my own twist and my own flavors to it to bring you this incredible dish today. Now, again, why stuffed cabbage? Why not dolme, right? We call it dolme. So dolme is stuffed cabbage. It could be stuffed bell pepper, tomatoes, and onions. Well, my husband is American, and in his background, stuffed cabbage is a very common dish. So I kind of wanted to bring our worlds together, but in a healthier version as well. Um, of course, keeping the Iranian traditions still intact as best as possible, but omitting some things like, I'm not gonna do it with rice, I'm gonna do it with this beautiful quinoa that was given to me by Sadaf Foods. I want to thank them for their generosity and always being there and supportive. I've got beautiful seasonings and barberry, which is Zedish. If you don't know that, please reach out to me and I'll show you how to use this incredible herb, uh, fruit, um, deliciousness that makes every dish almost better. Um, I've got some of Sadaf's Pure Saffron Spray, which is incredible. I've got this beautiful pomegranate um, concentrate that adds, again, more flavor. Pomegranate is really big and on trend right now, so finding different ways of using it, and it's big in Middle Eastern cuisine, especially Iranian or Persian food. So, stuffed cabbage is our dish today, and it's really, really simple. It's got some steps. You can definitely prep it ahead of time, as you'll see I have done so for you guys to save some time and of course, right, TV magic. Um, but this is something you can make in advance and freeze and bring it out for a special night with family or friends. If you've got vegetarian friends coming over, this is a great, great option. Um, there is no meat um, or dairy in this dish at all whatsoever. But let me just go through the ingredients really quick with you then we'll get on to here. Like I explained, we've got the beautiful quinoa that I've cooked off here, have that set and ready to go. I've got some flat leaf Italian parsley, I've got some cilantro um, and uh, saute fried onion. Now this item is a staple in every Iranian home. It's a must have. Um, it goes in almost every dish. 
Uh, this morning I made eggs for my daughter and of course she likes this onion. You can definitely buy them packaged. Sadaf does a great frozen package that you can pick up or you can just make your own. Totally up to you. I've got some beautiful walnuts, gerdu, and of course my barberry that I first um, soak in some water, clean it off and then saute it with some butter and a little bit of sugar. Um, if you're trying to cut out the sugar, you can always go with like a Splenda or a substitute of some sort um, and a little bit of saffron, right? Zafarun, right in there. Whoops. <laughs> and we've got that there for you. Then coming here, I like using uh, San Marzano tomatoes. Um, it makes a huge, huge difference. This is a product of Italy um, in the taste of food and the color and so on. So this is what I'm going to use for my sauce base. I've got some olive oil, salt and pepper, and of course, no dish is complete in my home without some medjool dates from United with Earth who are also incredible um, at all their products that they do in the product lines. This is the Deglect Noor, which is a pitted one. Um, and we've got the medjool cut up here that's going to also go inside my stuffed cabbage that's right a little sweet a little sour savory um i mean this thing hits every note possible now first things first we are going to boil up our head of cabbage and basically take a pot fill it up with water season it with a little bit of salt this can take up to an hour it depends on the size of cabbage you really have this one's gonna take me at least 40 minutes, if not to an hour. And once it's cooked off, I'm gonna start peeling it off and I'll show you the next step. All right, so now from the cabbage cooking off in there, I'm gonna take it out and start pulling apart the layers like such. You see this big, beautiful piece like that? And you'll see, it's just pulling it apart you want to remove the core first, right? Which I've done. Just cut it out, take out the core, and then just peel apart the edges like so. In every leaf, it takes a little bit of patience. You want to just be careful not to rip it, but guess what? If it does rip, it doesn't matter. It's all going to get tucked in, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. And I kind of just hang it off the side of my bowl here and I'm gonna set this aside like that and then we're gonna go to mixing of all of our ingredients that go into this beautiful dish we are gonna start with our quinoa which I've got here a cup of quinoa and then I'm gonna put in my half a cup of Piaz dal or sauteed caramelized onion, right? Then I'm going to put in a little bit of barberry or zidish. You can always add more later. And I'm going to put in a third of a cup of my cilantro that's been chopped. And a third of a cup of my flat leaf Italian parsley. I'm gonna just break that down really quickly in there for you. Take a look. So, you know what, honestly, this is just beautiful and I can eat it just like this. Don't even have to stuff into anything. A beautiful quinoa salad. This is actually, honestly, smells amazing. What a great base. So I'm gonna keep adding to it. I'm gonna add, I would say this is going to be five medjool dates that are chopped up, okay? Again, five medjool dates or any kind of date that you like chopped up in here. And then I'm gonna put in some of my walnuts that I also chopped. And we've got about a third of a cup of chopped walnuts. Again, at this point, great salad, 
don't need to stuff it into anything. You can eat it just like this. Now, seasonings, right? We're gonna go in there. We got a tablespoon of olive oil. We've got a pinch of salt and pepper and a little bit over the shoulder. Always, if you know me, you know that's my thing. And we're gonna keep mixing that up. Okay, a pinch of turmeric. Keep mixing that up. Still incredible, smells delicious, and I can eat this just like this, but I'm not going to. Next up, we're gonna take our cabbage leaves that are boiled off like this, right? And we're gonna start stuffing them. Now, I don't wanna overstuff these things because they will pop open or explode and you don't want that. So I'm gonna start stuffing them and line them up into my pot. Let me grab my pot. All right, so I'm gonna spray the bottom of my pot with a little bit of the saffron mm, spray and a drizzle of vegetable oil. That's it, just a drizzle, quick, quick, quick. Now, when you are pulling apart the leaves of the cabbage, as I'll show you, you're gonna have bits and pieces that fall apart. Well, these bits and pieces are perfect to line the bottom. You see, you wanna start lining the bottom. Now, this dish is very versatile. You don't wanna do it with quinoa, you don't have to. You can put farro, you can put beautiful Persian rice and meat or turkey, tofu, really up to you what you wish to put inside. Now, I've got this at the bottom all lined up, just like that. And at this point, I'm going to take my tomato sauce. I'm gonna show you really quickly here. So one of my favorite kitchen tools is my immersion blender. So I'm just gonna get into my canned tomato to turn it from this into this with my Ovente immersion blender, just like that, all the way to the bottom. And I've got two functions here, slow and fast. So I'm gonna go just really slow, just to make sure that my tomato sauce goes at the bottom and I'll get that right right in there just like this few dollops at the bottom because we want flavor on every level every part of this dish is going to be packed with flavor now coming back to here we're going to start stuffing we're going to go back in with our spoon grab oh a tablespoon, maybe since the leaf is a little bit bigger, a tablespoon and a half, and we are going to tuck and roll. I just want to make sure you can see this. I'm going to move my pot out of the way. So we're going to tuck and roll, bring in the sides like this, and keep rolling forward. Now, this could be like a wonton, like a burrito, but in our case, it's a dolme, right here. And we're gonna start lining the bottom of our pot here. We're gonna do another one, take it here. Now, a lot of you, I'm sure, are thinking, why not fill it up from that side and then end up with the harder side? Well, because the harder side is harder to manipulate, you're much better off with the other side. So go in like this, bend it over, tuck, tuck, and roll, right? Just like that. I'm gonna keep filling this up. 
want to get in as many as you can. Now, you have leftover product or stuffing, but not enough cabbage. Don't you worry, I'm sure you have onion you can boil off, tomatoes that you can stuff, bell peppers that you can stuff. You can pretty much do this recipe with any vegetable that you can stuff and turn into a dolme. Right? Now, one of my favorite ways of eating this version especially is with mastumusir, which is like a thick yogurt with shallots. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. So tuck and roll, tuck and roll, and there you have it. This whole thing will be lined up, and I have a little floret that came out from the inside. Nothing goes to waste, I'm just gonna break it apart. I'm gonna put it in the center because I love to just eat the cabbage as well, it's delicious. Now, once we've done one layer, right, and I'm gonna show you the finished one, you're gonna come in and pour more sauce over it like that okay pour in our sauce and don't forget pomegranate concentrate over the top a little bit of water and on the stove it goes all right so our dolme is done we are going to open it up and serve you some look at this Oh, I wish there was smell-o-vision. Can you get all that steam in my face? Now, I have a little trick when I'm making dolme. I press it down with a dish on top to keep it from coming apart or trying to bubble up and kind of just squeeze out of the cabbage. So I've got that dish right on top of there, which I'm going to remove like this. Oh my God, it smells incredible. It's been cooking for an hour. Wait, I've got to show you this. We cannot just, we cannot just go on without a little peek. Take a look. Look at that. Isn't she gorgeous? Mmm. And honestly, these Le Creuset pots are the best thing to make these incredible dishes in. Now, want to be very gentle in removing these guys and putting them on a plate. They're packed nice and tight. Cabbage is cooked beautifully. My stuffing is cooked beautifully. And I cannot wait to dig in to my Persian inspired stuffed cabbage. Look at that. This is a pretty big portion size that I've made here. So this would definitely be plenty for your family to share. Now I want to make sure my dish is cleaned up. I want to make sure my plate is clean. Look at that. And then I'm gonna sprinkle over just a few greens for some color. It's coming with the Barbary. Put a few of that on top. Doesn't that look incredible? And some of the sweet dates, just a few pieces right on top there. Look at that. How about my walnuts? And there you have it, my Persian inspired stuffed vegetarian cabbage. Thank you so much for giving me the time today. Thank you for the Farhang Foundation for this incredible series. I hope you find me on my other social media platforms and follow along. It's been a true honor. God bless.